you know, uh, when you watch TV, I remember back to like VH1 days, and I'm probably dating myself, but uh, I'd be like, the mm-hmm. behind the music, and then where are they now? That's sort of a, uh, a segment of that stuff. Obviously, you see it on memes now uh, on social media. But uh, where are they now? Carly Russell edition. Uh, if you remember the news cycle all the way back about two weeks ago, <laughs> there was this. Uh, and, and I didn't dive too deep into it. I was focused on some other cases at the time. And I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't because it did turn out to be a big nothing uh, Carly, Nicole Russell, if you're new to this, like I am on this story, a 25-year-old Alabama woman whose disappearance ignited a statewide manhunt admitted that she was not kidnapped earlier this month. The confession was made through her attorney, Erica, or rather Emery Anthony, during a press conference held by Hoover, Alabama police uh, earlier in the week. There was no kidnapping on July 13th. Anthony read from a statement issued by Russell Disputing the details that had previously gripped the nation, the lawyer elaborated that Russell was not involved in any kidnapping incident, had not been with an accomplice, and was neither in a hotel nor with anyone during the alleged period of her disappearance. My client did not have help in this incident. That Hmm. this was a single act done by herself, Anthony continued, effectively shifting the narrative from that of a possible victim or of a horrendous crime to a self-inflicted fabrication. He further expressed Russell's regret and apology to the community, volunteers, Hoover Police Department, and other involved agencies, as well as her family and friends who had been consumed with worry. Russell's lawyer pleaded for understanding and forgiveness from the public as she grapples with the repercussions of her actions and the potential criminal charges that may befall her. Carly again asks for your forgiveness and prayers, Anthony implored. The uh, drama surrounding Russell began the night of July 13th when she made a distressing 911 call about a toddler walking alone in a diaper along the I-459 highway. This bizarre circumstance escalated when responding officers found Russell's car still running with no sign of Russell. A frantic 48-hour search ensued, ending when Russell mysteriously reappeared at her parents' home in Hoover on Saturday night. Chief Nicholas DeRees of the Hoover Police Department, while reflecting on the entire situation, revealed their initial suspicions at the press conference. We knew it was a hoax, he stated, expressing both relief at the conclusion of the search and regret for the unnecessary resources expended. Now the focus has shifted from the initially uh, sensational story of a potential abduction to the question of the legal consequences that Russell might face for these actions. Former federal prosecutor Nia Romani, who has been on this show many a times, uh, has affirmed that Russell is likely to be charged with filing a police report. He pointed out that the implications of her hoax, emphasizing that when law enforcement is wasting time, it's money and resources that could be devoted to actual victims of crime. Alabama trial attorney Eric Guster also corroborated this view, stating that Russell could face misdemeanor charges that include making a false police report, making false statements to an official. If found guilty, Russell may be required to pay restitution for the time police spent on this futile investigation. Russell's future now teeters on the brink of that legal battle. Her attorney, uh, Emery Anthony, stated that he anticipates charges being filed against Russell following a meeting with Hoover police. It was a great meeting. It was a short meeting, he said, adding that they had discussed the responsibilities Russell needs to fulfill moving forward. In the wake of the revelation, the community left to grapple with the unsettling aftermath of a dramatic resource-intensive week based on a lie that is not just the story of a young woman who cried wolf, but a sobering reminder of the misuse of emergency resources and the (laughs) immense pressure these deceptions can place on a community. As attorney uh, Guster uh, scrutinally summarized, whatever the end resolution or getting to the end resolution is, we want that to happen soon. I think everyone does. I mean, it, when you, you look at this, you got to go, okay, why? What was, what was the logical reason for this? Is this, again, narcissism at its finest? Uh, yeah. I and, and here's something else, too, that I, I want to point out that I think I read early on and I just verified that I did read this correctly about this case because after a while they all start blurring together. She, again, it's the search history that really clued yeah. them in. Um, hours before she was reported missing, she had looked up information about the movie Taken, 
which is about kidnapping, Mm -hmm. and Amber Alerts. So she had been planning something of this nature. I think you're right. Absolutely a, a huge, grandiose case of narcissism. Like, people aren't paying attention to me, so I'm going to do something big, and everybody's going to pay attention to me now. Yeah, I, uh, I, can, I, I, I don't know more about this case, so it's hard to say for sure, but if I were to make a snap judgment on it, uh, that's my guess is what's going on here. And I don't understand. She's a nursing student, I believe. So, you know, to get into nursing school, you got to be, got to have, got to have a brain in there. I mean, that's, it's hard to get into human nursing school. It just is. Um, That's why. And it's a rigorous course. Yeah. That's why, like, I I went to uh, gerbil nursing school and um, that's all I'm qualified (laughs) on is gerbils. I have a little practice, (laughs) literally a little practice, um, uh, you know, in the driveway go out there and they uh they come to me on stretchers kid children to bring them they're like oh my god you know he ate rat poison what do we do and you know you find another gerbil that looks like the, the one that ate the rat poison go he's cured and then you know you give the kid back the gerbil and they're like oh great he's alive and you know yeah that's meanwhile, parenting 101 for meanwhile sure. my uh, golden retriever just swallowed uh snuffy over there so snuffy's alive It happens. It happens. happens. But yeah, I don't know what to do about this. And the whole, the other thing about the toddler, that's, that's disturbing too. So that's, that's really disturbing that she went dark like that. What, what was with the toddler wandering the side of the road? They have footage. There was no toddler. So Mm -hmm. this was made up as well. Uh, We're going to see a mind that needs some help at the end of the day with this. Uh, I think we already do see a mind that needs some help and maybe there's something going on there. Uh, that's been undiagnosed or not looked at, uh, or it, it is, it could be very well that some sort of grandiose narcissistic, uh, way of operating. I'd be curious to learn about her other actions, uh, in life, uh, other than, you know, faking a toddler on the side of the highway and disappearing. Uh, what other, you know, more breadcrumbs are there <laughs> that, that show who she was prior, uh, to this? I think that would be very, uh, very telling. But well, and I think she screwed her future too. I mean, I I can't imagine. Would you want a nurse who is that unstable? I'm thinking <laughs> that is the first thing she puts on her uh, Bumble profile when she gets back out there. I oh, faked uh, my own kidnapping and disappearance of a child, uh, like long walks on the beach and hookup culture. <laughs> It's going to be like the little uh, profile there. I don't know. Yeah, keep swiping on that one. Keep swiping. You're locked into the Hidden Killers podcast. Want more? Start binging on all of our true crime podcasts right now through Apple Podcasts and get an ad-free experience when you sign up to be a True Crime Today Premium Plus member exclusively on Apple Podcasts. More of the Hidden Killers podcast dropping soon. Press subscribe now.